Okay, so motor is in the car. Uh, now I have to do some things. Basically what I'm going to do is um, clean up and finish the engine bay today. Well, come as close as I can to finishing the engine bay with what I've got. Um, <coughs> which means I need to make mounts for the radiator, push it forward. I already have the AC condenser in there. I modified the brackets on it to push it forward so that the radiator can be pushed into this groove that I made. Um, you know, steam ports, hook up the clutch line. Um, I'm going to see what I can do about the AC lines. I know they won't be finished today, but I kind of want to get an idea of where they'll go. Um, intake manifolds, spark plugs, headers. Uh, I pulled out the factory fuel lines um, so the header can go down there handily. Those will be replaced with AN lines later. Um, that sort of thing. So let's get to it. task is going to be mounting the accessories uh, to the motor. Once those are on, then I can put the radiator in and make the radiator uh, mounts. And then I'll know how much space I really have for a fan. Um, I want to use F-body fans because they pump out a crazy amount of CFM, but they're also huge. So I don't know if they'll fit. So I guess I'll throw the accessories on now and we'll see what happens. All right, I just put the radiator in. Those of you with a keen eye will notice that this is an S13 radiator, not an S14 radiator. Um, and I basically just want to check the amount of space between the accessories and the radiator, which isn't phenomenal, but I've seen worse. So now I'm going to try to figure out a fan solution. So. Uh, the next step in this engine bay is uh, I have to mount this radiator. Now, out of the factory, it uses a tab that goes from here to a threaded hole in the chassis uh, to hold the radiator tight like that. Um, I have spaced this rad support out to move the radiator forward a little bit, but uh, I will recreate factory style mounts for it. Um, you know, now, now we know that this uh, F-body fan thing that I was trying to do does not fit. If you were using F-body or GTO or CTSV accessories, anything like that, this would fit. But with the truck distance, it just doesn't make it. So, yeah, so I have already ordered two new fans. Uh, I would call them slim fans, but they're not that slim. Um, and uh, I'll put those in here. So, right now... Brackets to move this forward. Uh, they should be pretty simple. I'll make them out of aluminum tabs and uh, then we'll move on from there.
brackets are made. Uh, what you see on here is I gave them a little rubber coating uh, to help with basically insulating from vibrations. Um, I have some uh, brand new stainless steel hardware for them and that's what they're going to use. So now I'll install them and uh, these are going to come in and out probably a hundred times but you know I just want to uh, make sure it all works and looks good. I modified a k and intake from a 2004 GTO and made a custom bracket for it to fit into the S14.